Hello out there, and welcome to the Semi-Perfect Podcast. The date is April 22nd. Earth Day. Earth Day. Oh, what a wonderful celebration of the Earth that we all got to have today <laughs> indoors. <laughs> um, but yeah, welcome into the Semi-Perfect Podcast. Uh, t- uh, today we're going to be talking a lot about... Uh, animation uh including conversation about uh ducktales uh recently uh, an episode that sarah and i felt hit very close to home (laughs) um now granted i think there was a new episode that's aired since yeah that you and i haven't seen yet yeah the mirvana one or at least oh okay you guys haven't seen that one then yeah we haven't yet yeah um so so we're actually a little bit behind there uh there was also uh, a new episode, apparently, of My Little Pony. Again, this yeah. is something that I'm like, uh, what? Yeah, I guess new came... episode in quotations. Yeah, yeah like it, it's like a clip show, but it does have some new footage. It was released on an on-demand thing in Australia, as far as I can tell. So we'll maybe talk about that a little bit. But like, Race and I haven't seen it, so we'd probably just like if if. You were, uh, if Paleo and Saber, I thought y'all were interested in it. I don't know if y'all have seen it yet, but if anybody's seen it, uh, we can do like a non-spoiler talk. Yeah. Uh, and also, um, kind of maybe out of the blue, but uh, two other conversations I want to have about <laughs> uh, also animated shows. I want to talk Gravity Falls, and I want to talk Agretzico. <laughs> uh, yeah, he, um, we, we binged watched those. I've been trying to get him to watch them for forever, and this has been the perfect opportunity. Yeah. To <laughs> so so I'm I'm caught up with a lot of stuff now, um, and I'll further explain at least on my part. But uh, to kick off every podcast, we usually like to uh, hit up food post. But before we do, let's go ahead and introduce who we've got here in the podcast. We got Saber Spock. Hello. Paleo Stino. Hi. How you doing? And Hiro Sashi. Good evening, y'all. Heroes here. Okay, cool. And we also have Toodles. Hi. And I'm AC Race Best. Thank you for joining us for the Semi Perfect Podcast. Uh, now let's look at food. Okay. I want to see the food. Oh, we're getting up to the food. Let I me get it. I want to see the food post. I uh, hope everybody's doing good out there as we continue uh, this exciting time in humanity. Yeah. Where everyone's going to be like, wait. You guys did what? You had to do what? It's going to be a, a time explaining this to the younger generation that didn't get to experience it. <laughs> so, like, so basically for just an entire year, we couldn't go anywhere. So that was cool. <laughs> kind of sucked. Um, well, we got our first food post here from Princess Deadpool. In the middle of moving, so keeping it simple and cheap with some Carl's Jr. and Jackbox games on the BabsCon server. What a time to be moving. Yeah. Dang. Carl's Jr. A superstar? Yes. I like the Dr. Pepper in the nice glass. <laughs> Very fancy. Uh, we also have Void and Void. Two burgers and a patty melt tonight because I guess I don't care anymore. <laughs> Where's the fun in losing weight if you don't have a lot of it? Dang, I want mm. two burgers and a patty melt. Looks pretty good. I know what I'm doing for dinner. <laughs> I got a Fritz roll, getting ready for a semi-perfect pod with my favorite snacks. Also, guys, I have some good news. Remember that time I talked about Sea Kids? Guess what? The episode I voiced in has finally been released onto DVD. Whoa. Whoa. That's the cool. New babysitter. Awesome. Nice, Fritz. The babysitter. Looks like got some candy. What is that from? What? It's the babysitter. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it could be literally any movie or television show that has a babysitter in it. Oh, all right. Um, and then Taylor here saying, "Evening, semi-perfect podcast crew, having a toasted avocado and turkey sandwich this evening." Yummy. Toasted. Toasted. I had a toasted bagel. To elevate your sandwich, just toast it. Yeah. All right, we got Nathaniel Foga. 
Uh, made myself some Frito pie with my homemade chili that has ground turkey, beef, and pork, which mm. is topped with shredded mozzarella cheese with chili cheese fritos. Oh. Dang. That's nice. When you got more than two meats, you know it's legit. That's luxurious right there. <laughs> uh, Maddie with a photo. M&M ice, ice cream, cream cone. cone. Nice. Yummy. I want an ice cream cone. Nora Mermaid says, after a crazy two weeks and a relaxing day, I'm chilling on the couch with the pod and my buddy, Little Debbie, and her zebra cakes. Love you. Miss you all. Hope you're staying safe. Hugs to all of you. Aww. Thanks, Nora. And then we have Britt. Brit. Hey, this is my perfect pod. After a while of not tuning it in, I'm finally here at the beginning of the pod with a picnic den dinner with my roomies. Nice. Awesome, and welcome back, Britt. Dang, there's a lot going on here. I see, like, macaroni. I see a burger, a I cheeseburger. Corn. I think that, is it corn or is it a tamale? I think it might just be straight up corn. Just straight up corn and then, like, bacon on your potato. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. That's a nice spread. That's a nice picnic. Yeah. Dang, yes. All right, let me check our notifications, see if we missed any by mistake. Uh, oh, 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 yeah. oh my gosh, we did it. We did it. Cool. Well, thank you for oh, your yeah, submissions. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes. Uh, by the way, we also have Laura who just joined us. How you doing, Laura? Hello. I'm doing all right. How are you guys? We are good. What's uh, good? Yeah. Uh, how have uh, have your last two weeks been since the last podcast? Um, nothing like super interesting to report. Just everything's kind of weird now. So mm -hmm. you know, everything's weird. I I go to work and then I come home and I play Animal Crossing and then I sleep. So not much has changed. Dang, I'm on the same. I'm on that same grind. Yeah. <laughs> So here, uh, I and guess then that's at work, answer. I'm just talking about Animal Crossing. And we're like, oh, <laughs> this weekend, even though we can't go out and do anything, like, well, I can't go out and do anything, so I guess we'll be playing Animal Crossing for 48 hours. <laughs> the Animal Crossing people planned this, yeah. didn't they? Animal Crossing mm -hmm. is our way of going out and doing something. <laughs> You're absolutely right. I just don't. I don't even know if you're joking, but real talk, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, like honestly, like this is to be like one of the most important releases because of the time that it was released. Right. <laughs> absolutely agree. <laughs> mm. Well, I'm glad that everyone's getting some sun. Uh, so, Hero, you said pretty much same story for you. Yeah, I'm trying. To get a blue rose in Animal Crossing, and it's gonna take so much work, so much work. Um, What's a blue flower? Rose? It's the hardest it's a, flower. A rose, to and it's blue. Yeah. Yes. Oh. So flower... you can hybrid, like you can mix flowers together to make hybrid flowers and all that stuff. Right? Okay. It's complex. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what people are finding out is like we're we're full on like month into the release of this game, mm -hmm. and like. Basically, every single day, people are like, this is how flowers work. This is how crossbreeding flowers works. Actually, no, this is how it works. Actually, no, everything was wrong. This is how it works. <laughs> this is going on for legit a full on month. Yeah. And like, I think maybe like four days ago, somebody, because it started out just like, hey, man, if you have like a, a red flower and a white flower, just put them down and they'll make a pink flower. Simple, simple. No. What we have yep. found out is that flower breeding in Animal Crossing is straight up full on Mendelian inheritance. Like the stuff you learn in high school and college, mm -hmm. like that is how it works. Yeah. Like we're invested in SF genes and don't and like <laughs> so, Yeah, I'm not about that. I'm just throwing water on everything. <laughs> oh, I am so deep in it at this point that I can't even go back. So yes, I'm definitely working. I've learned things like legitimate, like how flower, like science, like work. actual plant husbandry. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, so that's cool. It's not. It's ridiculous that it's so complicated. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm in there on the flowers right now. I'm sitting here holding my tongue so hard right now. Why? Is it because I use the phrase plant husbandry? Yes. Oh, okay. It is. I knew after I said it, and I was like. Oh. Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Zootopia. Because in Judy's family, it's kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> a lot of Animal Crossing. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I'm usually on top of that. <laughs> um, but, 
Yeah, I was like, isn't Animal Crossing like a casual game for like children and families and happy people? Why is there this incredibly hardcore version of Plant Husbandry legitimately in there? <laughs> because it's also for people who just want to sit around and figure out how to get every single flower in the game <laughs> and are willing to put in like, the you hour. know. Right. 80 hours. Because if you don't get every single crossing. type of flower, you can't craft every single recipe. <laughs> yeah. like, I don't Unless think you there's any flowers. Recipes. I don't you think there's any recipes. You can't cross the animal. Mm -hmm. See, I. Oh, yeah. I mean, there, there, are, there are some recipes that require some blue flowers. So I'm oh, like. But not a blue rose. There's no way they would do that to you. <laughs> that would be horrible. Invincibility. Well, <laughs> at least not yet. Yeah. <laughs> well, with, 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 yeah with that update um that they're uh that's releasing tomorrow actually there's they're adding a lot of stuff like the the yeah. museum is expanding yep um, so ready. they have a couple of new vendors uh so yeah bushes they're like his bushes i was like boy i already did the, the every like i don't have to do <laughs> this for me. <laughs> i'll just take down some fences and put up bushes instead they're like what kind of nice <laughs> yeah uh bushes paleo what's uh what's new with you i got a kitten Yay. Yay. A new kitty what's his name patches Aww. oh Aww. i <laughs> love him tell us about your kitten <laughs> patches yeah um so he was a lot different uh compared to when i got salem uh because i got salem in late 2016 like that december in 2016 and uh it took him like about a week or so to uh come out and explore the the house because he was just like very shy he went like behind the couch and just stayed there and didn't go out to eat unless i wasn't around um with uh with patches he's very curious he goes around everything and um he's uh approaches salem a little bit he tries to play with him salem's starting to warm up to him a lot more now That's um good. but yeah he's uh he, he's a lot more vocal than Salem, too. <laughs> like, he just has a very small meow at the moment. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like cats... Tell, tell me if I'm wrong here. I, I'll, I'll hold that L if I am. But I feel like cats... Like, all cats are, for the most part, the same. But every cat has two very, like, dominant... Like traits that differ between cat to cat to cat because I look at like my friends' cats. I'm like, you're mostly my cat, but you do these two things which my cat absolutely does not, and you do them hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel like cats are. Yeah. <laughs> like, like my cat is so social, I'm almost worried. I'm like, why are you so social with human beings? Shouldn't you be running away at first? It's a dog, yeah. hero. You have a dog. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got Saber Spark. He said, be right back. Oh, he did say that. Yeah. Oops. Never mind. Tell us about your two weeks, honey. I think Saber's back. Or he oh. might not be. Back. Whoa, that Texan hit hard, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it slips out from time to time. Hi there, Saber Spark. You, you, you'll hear um, my print in the background. I apologize. That's okay. But. Uh, but yeah, hi, I'm well. Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, status quo over here, folks. Nothing really too crazy or new. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything like... I, I've been cooking my propane grill and making a mess of it. Nice. Technically, it's Laura's propane grill. But, well, uh, so it was a propane grill that was given to my sister and my brother-in-law for their wedding shower, and then they couldn't use it at the condo they were at, and then... So they were like, hey, do you want to, like, hang on to it? Because we can't use it, like, because we're not allowed to cook on the balcony. I was like, okay, sure. So I took it to my house, and then shortly after that, I got my job and had to move elsewhere. And now I can't use it, but Stephen gets to use it at the house, so. Been using yeah. that. Good. Uh, I've been testing out differences between propane and charcoal. Honest to God, entering my 30s, I guess, in style here. Um, <laughs> then... Uh... Keto diet, still doing that. I've been doing stock market stuff. That's been fun. Um, it really gives me an idea. Uh, 
really our generation had no idea about this stuff i think this is the secret that boomers are keeping from us where it's like <laughs> don't let them know this is where we really make our money <laughs> so don't tell them playing. anything <laughs> It's it's such a bittersweet thing. Like you see some days where it's like I won't bet on that. Damn it, I should have bet on that. And uh, oh no, that sounds like the hell I don't want to get caught in. Yeah, no thanks, man. <laughs> it's I, I, I've mentioned this before, like to Laura Paleo and Race, but it's like it's gambling with homework. Like yeah. you could make well calculated <laughs> uh, bets, but doesn't guarantee anything. So I, just, I, mean, I couldn't handle the life, like getting money would be cool, but I just literally couldn't handle the life of waking up in the morning and being like, damn it, I made a bad decision. Well, that's yeah. happened to me yesterday. I lost $100 yesterday morning. because I, I couldn't. Oh, God, that would drive me crazy. <laughs> There's a stock called Shopify. And for the last five days, it's been just blowing up. And I'm like, okay, every morning it shoots up $30 in price. I'm going to be ready. 9.30 a.m., 30, 30 a.m. Mm -hmm. uh, Eastern time, the, the market opens. I threw down some money. I'm like, haha, I'm going to be the Monopoly man. Oh, God, I lost $100. Damn it. <laughs> uh, but then I tried it again yesterday morning and uh, it made 400 back. So it's mm -hmm. it's stupid. Like it, it, it goes up and down all over the place. And uh, I don't know. I, I, I guess what bothers me is, oh, no, no, it's a tangent, whatever. Um, yeah, I've been doing that. So that's been my week. I'll stick to our uh, our crazy turnip like um like yeah. damn that I'll we're doing like a real Stop adult working. paleo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the way, what are y'all's turnip prices right now? Because mine suck. Garbaggio. I'm on the yeah. decline right now, which means it'll be on the uprise uh, next week. Yeah, mine are like seventy two, and I'm like, no, I don't think so, guys. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, Sarah, what about you? What's new? Uh, well, I've just been doing a lot of Ready Player Dumb. <laughs> oh, have you? Man, I've been having so much fun watching that, by the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Saber. We've been uh, we've been having a lot of fun doing it. Yeah. Um, uh, there we have like, encountered, I think, I our first game that that really pushed us over <laughs> the edge, our, our brain waves, <laughs> which which you'll you'll see when when we get there uh, in the series, but. Uh, but yeah, outside of that, um, you know, had uh, had fun. Actually, did a stream on Ready Player Dumb with a bunch of our friends uh, yesterday. Um, you know, friendships were tarnished, uh, <laughs> but that's the idea of playing Left 4 Dead with a bunch of friends. Yep. Uh, that said, also um, uh, on the note of Ready Player Dumb, we have a, a live stream that we're going to be doing on Friday. Yeah. At what time is that at? Uh, oh, really? Yeah, I well, I don't think we've tied down a time. Do we want to right now? Let's tie down a time. What time? I mean, generally we stream at six o'clock. So six o'clock. Yeah. Cool. All Friday right. At six o'clock. So so basically same time as this podcast started. Um, on Friday, uh, it is a live stream where uh, Sarah and I will be going through. Well, I'll I'll be playing, but Sarah will be my trusty sidekick. Sidekick. <laughs> uh, and we're gonna be going through Untitled Goose Game. Yes. Uh, that should be fun. Uh, yeah, I've yes. never, I've never touched this before, yes. as with many of the games that we're we're approaching in Ready Player Dumb. Uh, so, so yeah, so we'll be doing that on Friday, and then also want to mention, uh, just so I don't forget, uh, Saturday is Pony Fest 2.0, and uh, we will once again be having a Jackbox uh, game that we're going to be doing. Um, this time, I'm just verifying the time right now. It is going to be at Da, da, da. I know it's 2 p.m. Eastern. So that that's one. What, okay, 11, thank you. I was like, I think it's 2. Um, so 2 p.m. Eastern, 11 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, we'll be doing that. And then I'll also right be on. on a Zootopia Minute podcast. Nice. Um, uh, also part of Pony Fest, which will be at 4.30 Eastern. Oh, and uh, I guess someone else just snuck in right now as we uh, continue. What's up with us? Hi, Gabe. <laughs> I've actually been here. I've been listening for the last four hours. four hours. Really? Yeah. So figure that one out. Right. <laughs> you must yeah. have slowed it down a lot. 
Yeah. <laughs> we never try yes. to figure. I, I've out. been orbiting. I've been doing experiments with uh, uh, like microscopic singularities. I suppose all singularities are microscopic, but I'm referring yeah. to the event horizon in this case, and uh, getting real close to them and seeing if I can distort space time. So nice, nice. Here's my excuse. So nothing new with you. Um, no, <laughs> definitely not. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, well, good. I'm glad that nothing's new with you. Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Gabe, you sound a little funny. Gabe, you alright? I am funny. Um, Claire, so funny. Yeah. We're, I'm Whoa. Claire Corlett sounds like she's oh, wait, also on the other side of that microphone. <laughs> I hacked into your mic. Microscope. <gasps> microscope? And I'm speaking into it from here in out in the outskirts of Australia. Wow. wow. Okay. <laughs> say hi to say hi to Viva when you're swinging by. We just got a super chat, by the way, from the Lola. loyal bro. Uh, loyal bro says, "Hey y'all, my girlfriend Mooney and I have been together for three years, and today, hell yeah, uh, as of today, um, hope you're all staying safe and sound. Love you all. Happy oh, so. anniversary. Yeah. Loyal. Happy anniversary, loyal. What a good time to celebrate time. Because hey Gabe, is there any way that you can turn up your mic just a little bit? I have you at like two hundred percent." But you're still a little Am bit I quiet. Am I super quiet? All right, hang on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's so quiet. <laughs> Should we really complain? Well, as Gabe figures out his uh, his stuff. So yeah. So uh, how's that? Uh, same. Poop. How's that? But getting bit better. better. Oh, just how's this? Better. Much great. <laughs> Freaking cardioid condensers. I'm basically making out with the mic. Hi everyone. How are you? Well, it's it's better it's better ASMR that channel? during the podcast than any anyone else. So. Viva in the chat says I can see Claire from my house. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I know. I'm waving, and you can see that I'm very slowly giving you the bird. <laughs> Ready? Dang. Catch it. He has no wings. Dang. <laughs> Why would you cut the wings off of a bird? That is so messed up. I never said I'd cut it off. I said it didn't have any to begin with. Oh, it's a kiwi, isn't it? Yes. I was going to say that. <laughs> um, but those in New Zealand? It's the same thing. It's Maybe fine. you're confusing Australia <laughs> with New Zealand. Oh, it's from the neighboring walls. Maybe you got the kiwi the in New Zealand. Walls. Yes, yes. Australia. Australia has neighbors. Australia. <laughs> yeah, Australia my... Australia is great. Kiwi right at him. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah good. <laughs> Getting sun right. by the day. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, we had a new uh, DuckTales episode that came out. So, is now our time to jump into that, Sarah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. All yeah. right, well, I'll be back in a bit then, I go. All right, mm -hmm. we'll let you know, Laura. So, at this point forward, we will be talking spoilers. And like I was just saying, to me, the elephant in the room is that... Chippendale, Rescue Rangers, and Gadget, and Monty. Chippendale was yeah. Zipper there? I, honestly, yeah. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, he, he was. was there. Yeah. Good. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Almost. Uh, so yeah, so they showed. Yeah, they were up. all there. Um, <laughs> what did uh, What did everyone think of this episode? Who left? I don't know. Hirosashi left. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, he must have really hated it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, uh, again, the rescue rangers show up. I've got a lot to say about yeah. the rescue ranger stuff, so I'm 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 avoiding that specifically right now. Uh, I mean, if anyone has anything else to say, but what did you, what did you think of the episode? Well, I think I feel like I also have a lot to say because we both have the same opinion. <laughs> <laughs> the the um, I'll just throw him. Do it. Okay. Uh, Good world building with the villain, with Fowl, with mm -hmm. these other, it's kind of like a, another wave of baddies. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Launchpad's always a fun character. It's it's fun to see him smart. Yeah. <laughs> that was great. That was that was wonderful. Um, him and Dewey always a fun team. It was funny seeing Scrooge and Webby and Scrooge losing his shit at the, like, arcade. The, like, yeah, the ski, ski ball. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with, the, with, the, with his ticket bin. Um no, that was fun. I, I, this show is always does a great job adding levity. Oh I yeah, mean, <laughs> I was gonna say with the when they were trying to uh, um, redeem the tickets, and I was like, oh, it's too bad that these uh, expire. tickets expire by the end of the day. I was like, these don't expire. <laughs> 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 you know, just Webby's face. 
It's great. Uh, leave it to Scrooge to find like the, like, oh, how much does the value degrade over time? Or perhaps <laughs> if I keep it, it will go up. Yeah. Um, I loved the bit uh, at the end where Smart Launchpad is is fallen and the music's going. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, I loved that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. Uh, as far as ducks goes, it was it was really good. There's just the whole... Okay, so we very much enjoyed seeing the Chip and Dale Rescue. Right? Yes. Don't get us wrong there. Like, well, that's great. Yeah. However, I don't know if they needed to go to such great lengths to explain why they make sense in a world of ducks and dogs that are sentient and talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those that don't know, um, this was a completely different, like, you know, origin yeah. backstory to how the Rescue Rangers exist. Yeah. Um, th- this kind of just all sent through them all together, where we were like, oh, okay. Which, which for me, I can, I can, I guess, separate it out to where I'm like, okay, I mean, it's, it's, this is like the DuckTales version of the Rescue Rangers, because the Rescue Rangers exist in a world of humans, of yeah. human people. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, but yeah, this did give them a completely different, like, backstory. And Sarah's, <laughs> Sarah's big thing, she's like, but... But Monterey Jack's story is like, <laughs> now everyone knows they're bullshit because they're all together at the beginning. Yeah. Like, it, it it's basically like, uh, I, I don't know. I feel like it erases a lot of the history of Chippendale. Because, like, like, Chippendale, they're, like, it, I guess it depends on how you interpret it. Like, they're best friends. They might, might be brothers. I don't know. At least they're best friends. And so, as far as, like, when they're all, like, essentially non-intelligent lab rats or animals, I'm like, well, then I guess their entire history is based upon their entire experience of being in this lab and wanting to escape. And I'm like, okay. But at the same time, I just don't know if that was the right call to be, like, to, I don't know. Yeah, go ahead, Billy. I, I was gonna say they only showed Gadget getting smart. They they did. Um, however, like in the shot where she gets smart, they're like all in the background, like in cages. Oh, they, they are. They look animalistic I didn't that. too. Yeah. Now here's what they're I said. They're not wearing clothes. Here's what I told Sarah. How do we know that this isn't <laughs> the Rescue Rangers and they dumbified them? And then re-smarted them later. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I also, I really enjoy the fact that, like, uh, somehow increasing the intelligence of a rat makes them look more human-esque in form. <laughs> like, <laughs> she grew hair in, in a, a hourglass figure. <laughs> Brains give you sexy body. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um... So yeah, uh, I, I mean, did you guys have any opinions about uh, specifically about the Rescue Ranger showing up? I thought it was a bit um, like I mean, I, I have to give this show props for like Hira says these are massive Disney fans making mm-hmm. the show. Mm-hmm. They grew up in, during I mean, they're probably people around our age, and they grew up with you know, gummy bears and rescue rangers and tailspin and it's cool to see them make it actually work in the ducktales universe it doesn't feel forced and whenever it, it does get to the parts where it's like how hey, you gonna pull this one off it's a wild enough episode with like goof troop with goofy which <laughs> is funny at the end where it's like oh i'm i'm, I'm real it's like oh hey goofy <laughs> that was great <laughs> wait goofy was actually here <laughs> that was great that's great that's great um rescue rangers though i i, I wish they could have done more with it but yeah. at the same time, I appreciate them showing up because yeah. the show is the show is called Ducktales, so uh, maybe this might turn out support for a Rescue Ranger something in the future. But for what it was, I was like, oh, it's cute. I was hoping for a bit more, but that maybe that would have overshadowed Dewey and Launchpad. So mm-hmm. yeah, because like I I think like the best one that they've referenced so far has been Darkwing Duck with how they made that. Yes. It was like, oh, it was like a show mm-hmm. in this universe. Yeah. That was brilliant. Yeah. That, that that was really clever. Yep, I I agree. Um, 
Uh, Jax, by the way, uh, just <laughs> sent in another super chat saying, my brain just clicked that Acorn Cafe Race Best and Sarah are finally talking about the Rescue Rangers episode of DuckTales, and I just got a surge of hype because I was excited for this. <laughs> um, Don't you mean AC Race Best F and Brony Boy? <laughs> uh, that's only how my closest friends know me, Gabe. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, by the way, I wanted to congratulate Steven Saberspark on a million subscribers. Whole... Oh, yeah, you, oh, did yeah Sarah, you didn't even talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. In your past two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I, I did the thing. Thank you for uh, thanking me. Dude, <laughs> and, and congratulating me. Oh, not thank you, dear. Thank you for congrat. Thank you for congratulating me. I'm sorry. I told uh, you though. I told you it was gonna happen. You're like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I vividly <laughs> remember. No, I. Uh, I that's, that's really cool. It's I, I, it's surreal. So yeah. yeah. Wait, what was what was what was the story that we talked about on the the live stream about? Get oh yeah, with the pandemonium video. Yeah, that's what we talked about. <laughs> oh yeah, I did a live stream with Paleo. And during it, I was going through some old videos, and I brought up Pandemonium and showed oh, to the audience. Fun. And people oh, on stream so were like, fun. "They're like, what? Gabe, this guy was a brony? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> Once a brony, always a brony. <laughs> I, I get that about you on my videos still all the time, Saber, where people are like, wait, Saber Spark what? is a brony? I just don't think people recognize Gabe because he's now wearing eyeliner. I am wearing <laughs> eyeliner. <laughs> In the reaction. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm actually wearing lipstick today too, but that's Claire's fault. Uh, I mean, I mean, she actually put lipstick on me. That's actually what I mean. Girl knows what she wants. Um, so, anything else about Ducktales before we move on? Um, any other topics there? Launchpad's great. I, I love seeing his story. His, his, he's, he's such a good, fun character. I. Yeah, I give this show props for knowing how to establish good characters and growing them. It's it's one of the best shows to do it. Yeah, and they do a great job yeah. of not not overplaying their hand. Like Launchpad, I always feel is Agreed. like the perfect amount of just screwed up silliness. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I mean, I I think he's my favorite character in the entire show. Like <laughs> my, my favorite joke so far from this season was when they were like, "And the winner is Dewey's brother," and it's like, I, I think Launchpad <laughs> said, "My good friend Dewey's brother" or something. <laughs> I don't know why. I was like, "Shit, man, that's, that's what he's." <laughs> but yeah, I mean, so so just to finish off the rescue ranger bit, Sarah. Yeah. Um, I felt. Yeah, I I just felt like it was a little unnecessary for them to go that to that great length to of explaining, explaining why, they're, why they're, they're, you know, I guess intelligent or talk mm -hmm. or whatever. I feel like since we've already got ducks and like dog and cat people in this world, like I feel like it would just make sense for uh, rodents to also have a sentience. There there was a a bit of me that enjoyed her uh the evil lady referring mm -hmm. to gadget as a stupid rat or whatever she called her <laughs> dumb rat <Why>? um <laughs> just because i was like oh man all of these super fans that that we've met over the years are like <gasps> what she called her what <laughs> There no, are no. dozens of us upset. I just, I, feel like, <laughs> I, yeah, I, just, I just feel like it would have made more sense for like maybe the rescue rangers were investigating Owl for like suspicious activity and they got From captured. Winnie the Pooh. Owl. Mm -hmm. Fowl. Who? Oh, sorry. Owl. <laughs> the evil old I <laughs> And they got captured and they're, you know, got okay. this building a, an escape flying machine. We're going to have to kick his ass, Christopher Robin. And like maybe the reason why they... Christopher Robin! <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like he's dying! <laughs> well, he's very old at this point. Christopher, I can't eat honey anymore. I have diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie the Pooh! <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, okay. So that'll wrap up our DuckTales conversation. So we could bring uh, Laura back in here. Let her know that she's good. Um... So we will no longer be discussing uh, DuckTales spoilers. For anyone that, that was away at the time of it, we were also congratulating Saber Spark on his 1 million subscriber 
uh, count. On your 1 million subscriber. But Thank what's you. what's weird is that like Saber, I thought we all agreed that you wouldn't do that until Sarah and my next wedding. Like so we could just have some Oh yeah, so we could yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so well, well we could all win the Super Bowl together. Let's do it. <laughs> um so the <laughs> next thing that, that we were gonna discuss, now this is something Sarah and I haven't seen. Um, I don't know if you even have a spoiler thing up for this, but this was this was this is the last of the new stuff that we'll be discussing. Um uh and it is apparently there was a new My Little Pony episode. Big quotations on new. Uh, I guess it's a. How is it, Paleo? Like, how are you explaining it? Yeah, it's what it is. Is it's a bunch of clip shows that they're, they're going to release. There's six in total because that was uh, uh, said by uh, uh, Jim uh, Big Jim Miller on uh, Twitter. Is that there's oh I love six, him. Speaking of, yeah, I have to go. There, there's going to be six of them. <laughs> uh, six clip shows. And each one has new footage, and it's of like Spike and Starlight going around gathering the memories for the memory scrapbook um, that they give it to Twilight at the end of the the the, the finale. Okay. I actually do have to go. I have to go eat, but I'm glad you guys are talking about Jim Miller while we leave. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Gabe and his many friendships that he's made over the years. Uh, <laughs> friendship is toxic <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, who here has seen it who here has seen it I, seen I, it, haven't, I haven't watched it yet has anyone else yeah. besides Laura seen it Laura <laughs> okay not. everyone mute themselves and now Laura has the floor because <laughs> 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 um, yeah, it, it, has, it hasn't really if, officially aired here yet Oh, it was just right. in Australia. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's why we were waiting. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, hopefully. I still don't understand release schedules, but whatever. Well, Laura, do you want no to one like, give your non spoilery review? Perfectly said. <laughs> um, I mean, so Paleo said it's a clip show with some extra stuff. So, you know. Is the extra I, stuff good? I, I thought it was cute. Um, I skipped through a significant amount of it because I found out that it existed shortly before this podcast, and I was like, well, I gotta watch it first, so uh, <laughs> I skipped through a bunch of the clips that I've seen before. The only one who did her homework. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't watch DuckTales. I watched Ponies instead, so. Yeah. There you go. But we yeah, this, to... uh... Go on. I was gonna say, this first one is called, like, Addressing Memories, and it's, uh, all, all like, rarity clips. Yes. Um, because they're getting memories from rarity. Okay. So that's why there's six. And then the six next one's called many. a ranch dressing. <laughs> yes. Ha <laughs> Okay. And so Applejack. So mm -hmm. once once these come out now, are they coming out like once a week or I don't know. Right. Oh. We don't know yet. Ranch dressing should be the rarity Applejack ship name. Ranch yes. Applejack <laughs> dressing oh shirt. It should be. Wow. <laughs> ranch <laughs> dressing. <laughs> That, that's brilliant. <laughs> and uh, blue cheese is Rainbow Dash and cheese sandwich. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. I, literally, have you ever seen that ever? Have you ever no, seen that? No, nope. I've never seen that ever. No, but I need I don't to think I've seen But it's a good name for it. it. <laughs> <laughs> that's all that matters. All right, so we'll we'll definitely catch up with this when uh, when they start airing some more and and we get caught up with everything. But uh, I guess we'll leave it at that for the the new stuff with MLP. Always exciting to see some new content coming. From... Yeah, I guess we still have to wait a lot longer on Pony Life whenever that happens. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can bet when it comes out that we'll be feeling good as hell. So yes, <laughs> I, I got, this reminds me like. <laughs> So my laptop made it through making that last Bronies React, mm -hmm. and I think that it officially was like, I'm dead. <laughs> um, Wait, how old is that laptop? It's very old. It's like seven. A, uh, more than seven. Eight. I think. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> It, it doesn't even have an SSD in it, so yeah. Bruh! <laughs> <laughs> it's um. Uh, so on it. I've been trying to get the the bonus to finish rendering. Remember that Bronies React? So I still have a bonus to release. Yeah. Uh, it's not very long. It's only about 15 minutes in length. But but I'm like, crap, I need I, I have it together. Mm -hmm. All I need to do is literally put the intro in front of it. But my 
my the program's been like this is asking too much <laughs> so I'll, I'll hopefully have it plus i've been we've been so busy with the recording of uh of this other content also i'm looking to be getting some uh low budgets maybe cranking out again so yeah. just wanted to mention that um so shall we move on to some other animation conversation sure okay yeah. Who wants to talk about Gravity Falls? <laughs> the show from a while ago, Gravity Falls. I know it might seem <laughs> random and It out ended of nowhere, uh, four years ago. But <laughs> hear me out. Okay, Jesus. Hear me out. Do, do you, do we, we don't need like a spoiler screen for this, right? I mean, like I no. could just put up the general, but whatever. Whatever. If you haven't seen Gravity Falls, uh, I mean, then you're close to me. So <laughs> so here's, here's essentially my relationship with the show because some people may have seen in the past that i have stood up for this show in regards to how good it is mm -hmm. so it's not that i've never seen any episodes of it but it's one of the few shows that i had i got into late so i saw some episodes <laughs> and then i started watching right around the time i think the uh uh finale was coming out fully brewing yeah um do you mean like the several months that the finale was supposedly coming out or when it actually was coming out no like it was very spread out from my recollection yeah yes. like it wasn't it like oh there's three pots and they gave us two and then they're like now wait a month for the last one or something yeah it was stupid yeah so so i i do recall that uh, i did live through that but but i i've always it's always been a show that i wanted to watch chronologically which come to find out i didn't even know oh the entire show was chronological so <laughs> i'm glad that i made that decision um uh, but thanks to disney plus being out i finally was able to watch uh both seasons um so i just i'm like i, I want to talk a little bit about gravity falls i know it's again it's like an old school topic it's been out and ended for a while um but I'm just kind of curious around the room, like what what did everyone think of Gravity Falls? Well, well, it was or when it came out. I love it. It was an outstanding show that had a horrid, horrid release schedule. <laughs> yep. Great. Clever writing, like the mysterious like horror thing going on. That was fun. It felt it's like it was modern, but inspired by Twin Peaks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? Do you want to elaborate on that part? No, it's just, like, the people are, the, if you, like, look into stuff, there's, like, a lot of inspiration from Twin Peaks. Um, David, well, Lynch was, that? David Lynch was initially asked to do the um, the voice of Bill Cipher as, like, an homage. Oh. But, yeah, he turned it down. Um, but Kyle MacLachlan, who is the lead in Twin Peaks, um, did do the voice of the bus driver in the final episode to do, like, a bit of a, hmm. a little nod to it, so... That's cool. There's also a set that's literally the Black Lodge. So, you know. Oh. Yeah. I need to rewatch uh, Gravity Falls with that with that information now. Yeah. So this... Had some influences. You it, know. it feels like it's a very... What what I like about what they did with this was even though it's chronological, they they present things, and I paid a lot of attention to this, um, is, is how when stuff would... Like, an episode comes out, you could watch this episode, um, save for maybe the finale, which really was all connected, you know, with t to be continued. But, but before that, like any of the episodes, although they would reference stuff that had happened in the past, it was all stuff that you could just take at face value. Exactly, Halo. I know, I know. Um, in, in that, it's like it, they would reference something wild and crazy, and you just go, what? What are they talking about? That time that gnomes tried to marry you? Like, what? <laughs> I believe it. I just didn't realize at the time when I was seeing these references, when I'd catch one-off shows, yeah. oh, this stuff was actually covered yeah. and shown in previous episodes. So that's why I was glad I watched it in order and, and to see how they did. But I thought they did such a good job with, with creating episodes that while telling a linear story weren't things that you necessarily had to watch in order. And, and you would still, you could just pick an episode and, and watch it and, and enjoy it. So, What yeah. spurred on your uh, interest to watch it? Um, I've been wanting to watch it for a long time. Um, like I said, uh, before Disney Plus came out, I just had, I was struggling to find access to watching it. 
legally and um or maybe not legally i don't know but <laughs> <laughs> but this i finally this finally made it where it's like oh okay everything's right here we can watch it and then i think sarah put it on the on our watch list on disney plus yeah. I'm just like, hey, we've got a lot of time. Why don't we just uh, yeah. watch this? <laughs> yeah, Sarah gave us, I think, a very small nudge, and I went, oh, yeah, no, now's let's do this. Now's the time. And we watched it in, like, a week, maybe? Yeah. Um. So, so I mean, we hammered through those episodes, and I loved it. I, I just, all of my, I felt justified for me sticking up for the show for the amount I had seen of it, because I'd probably only seen maybe 25 percent of the show mm -hmm. it feels like um and then yeah i went through this and i'm like yes that was great that was enjoyable i loved the character development i enjoyed how all the characters kind of felt like they stood out mm -hmm. in a you know in their own way and yeah wow. and i waited long enough also to where i had forgotten like enough of the finale to be like, oh yeah, that yeah, that happens. Okay, <laughs> so it was fun, um, and I just wanted to kind of bring it up here on the on the podcast and talk a little bit about it because I know that it uh, for a lot of people it was a show that you know people really enjoyed, but it's it's also one that at least nowadays I don't hear as talked about just because of all the new content that we have to discuss. So yeah. I was like, I want to just bring it up and give it a shout out. Since oh yeah, there there were some people that. Uh... <laughs> and this is going to be telling for the Steven Universe people because there are some people that did like Gravity Falls theories videos. Those are dead now <laughs> because the show has been gone for so long. Yeah. Oh, man. I, I told Sarah, I'm like, oh, good. Because at the end, they do that little thing where it's like, see you next summer. And I was like, oh, good. There'll be more. And Sarah's like, no. no. <laughs> May your dreams just immediately be squashed. I was like, oh, Alex Hirsch doesn't even work at Disney anymore. He's doing stuff with Netflix now. You could tell though that like, like Alex and and his team went all out. Like like, it just felt like an above and beyond show. Because mm -hmm. outside of the the story, animation, all the stuff being great, you had all the extra stuff where they had like codes at the end. Yeah. And then I guess like the whole at the, treasure hunt for Bill. The, the yeah, end. Sarah explained that to me where they actually hid. A statue of Bill Cipher somewhere in the woods. Yeah. And then they had to move it because. They're, yeah, they. I think it was originally at Enchanted Forest, and then uh, apparently Enchanted Forest and the property right next to it have been having issues with property lines and stuff like that. <laughs> so, like, the other person was like, hey, this junk's on my land. And so um, now Bill rests at uh, Confusion Hill, California. Uh, it's a tourist trap that was uh, the main inspiration for the Mystery Shack. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so. So yeah. So, just wanted to throw that out there. That was that was fun. Mm -hmm. That was good. Yeah. Now another show. Um, unless anyone else has anything else to add about Gravity Falls. Cool. Uh, I, I no, really don't. Good. I love the the song. The uh, like the cover they did was like a guitar riff when they fought that like monster with their mech house that was yes. cool. <laughs> yes yes yeah. uh we watched every theme by the way every opening we never skipped yeah never it's, it's oh you're there. like one of those anime watchers that <laughs> watch all the intro. i just like can't people are like you have to watch the opening every single episode i'm like yo <laughs> no i mean I it's <laughs> easier for cartoons because they're usually very short yeah. compared to anime openings where it's like it's a minute and a half yeah. you're like oh, regular oh, shows it's like <laughs> <"Wait a minute." laughs> Yeah. All right, all right, we're done. <laughs> well, for Gravity Falls, it's so catchy. It's yeah. such a catchy little. Yeah. In fact, I complained to Sarah when they when they had the shorter intros. Yeah. For Gravity Falls, I'm like, no. Where's yeah, my full? Ducktales. When Ducktales cuts his intro short, I'm like, can you like not? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was it was. Good, like the special episode. Epi the Epi Wow, the special episodes. It like. All right, theme song's coming, and it's like DuckTales, and woo! I'm like, no, that's it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, no <laughs> anymore. <laughs> so the um the other show that we have on our list here, this one's a newer show, um, but also not like, oh my gosh, it just aired. Uh, Agretzico. Yeah. I have finally yeah. watched, you watched both seasons. This. Yeah, both he seasons. he watched like the first episode of the first season, like. <laughs> 
I don't know, like last year or something. I don't know. Uh, it was a long time ago, and we yeah. we actually binge watched it in like two days. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah's like, it was like two a.m. She's like, "All right, you done?" And I'm like, "Next episode." <laughs> I need to it's a cute it's show. Good. I've been I've been wanting to rewatch it recently. Actually, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Um. Yeah, man. There's some characters in there that I'm just like. Who's your they... favorite? <sighs> this is important. Our friendship lies on this. Seneca oh. for me. Yeah, Seneca is so great. She's my favorite. <laughs> I'm sitting here thinking, I, you know, that's something I haven't really locked down. Yeah, is who? So I guess by what, what, is your, what does your gut say? I won't judge as much. I mean, my gut kind of says that it is Retsuko, just because okay. I'm like, I'm like, if I'm that unable to pick someone maybe i'm avoiding the main character for some reason um Mm -hmm. god do i relate so hard to some of these mother (laughs) scenes that she has that i'm just like oh my god i just wanted to die i just wanted to die honestly like there there are there are some some characters in the show though that i've actually been like tell me this one has like a gruesome death in this in this show no. right <laughs> like i don't one only one character but he's not he's not tone is Anai? it yeah that one what is it an eye no it's not it's a stupid weasel that works for tone oh, okay yeah <laughs> yeah an eye, an eye, I, I feel bad for him actually yeah oh, he, i don't, don't want him to die <laughs> Tone is my favorite character. Not he's a, a good really person. Good character. Not, he, thank you. He's a good character. I love how he like twists Retsuko around. He he's a terror of the office. The show wouldn't be the same without him. Mm-hmm. So like having him there, and also the moments where he's actually like, I'm also a person. I just fucking suck. <laughs> like, but here, but here's why. Mm-hmm. Or that part where he's like, someday they'll call you boss, and you'll see how it sucks. I'm like, eh. um, he's not a dick just to be a dick. It's just like. I don't know. I feel like there are moments where you can tell kind of, kind of half and half on that one. But mm-hmm. I see, what you're, but the, but you're right. It's I, not, I it's you're just a dick. Wrong. He's not like they didn't just make him a dick. Like he has, mm-hmm. like I don't even know how to word this. Like you know what I'm trying to go for. Layer. Though, right? No, th- 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 there's yeah. yeah. Oh, said, <laughs> that being said, though, uh, my favorite non-asshole character is Washimi. She is yeah. like oh God, she, she's so much yeah. ass. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah, Washimi yeah. is like my second favorite. I think she so, essentially runs the company. Yeah. <laughs> the, the I am in love with her. The moment where she skyrocketed on my tier list is when she walked into the elephant boss's room and she like yes. put her heels on the dress. Oh. I'm like, queen. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a good show. It's, it's fun. It's, it's wholesome. It's cute. I like the Japanese like atmosphere to it all. Um, they, I was surprised the hippo character. I forget her name. They actually made her yeah. like. Yeah, they made her not annoying. Like at least not not oh, not yeah. annoying. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the same thing here. You just said, uh, yeah. Where again, like there's a, there's layers to these characters where it's like, oh, she's a mom, so she gets it, and mm-hmm. that's uh, a perspective that Anai needed mm-hmm. uh, to being in, reinforced that way, which is still a nice shortcoming. But I guess that's just his character. Mm-hmm. Uh, for for not respecting Retsuko as a superior, so I wanted him uh, to that's... trip and fall out the window and and just <laughs> on the surface, I'm with you, but I've heard stories from when I was playing my uh, Japanese MMO. Um, people would tell me stories about how like man, like getting out of college and just trying to find a job in Japan, like it like breaks you. Not that it doesn't here; it totally does here too. But like. Like the the stories that they told me, I was like, oh hey, I can, I can. and like there there's apparently a lot, like many stories of people getting hired and like, like oh, I don't know how to explain it, but like they they it, for lack of a better explanation, they put their guard up way 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 too high mm-hmm. when they're hired because if they're fired, if you try to get another job. And they know you were fired in Japan. It's like a nightmare. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that's. I mean, I, that's why whenever you go for a job application, you don't want them to know if you were fired or that you currently have no job. Because mm-hmm. for some reason, the employers go, "What's wrong with you? Like, why aren't you des- desired?" 
Because, I, I know, think like, when you sign up for a company over there, it's like you work for this company. If you quit, it's like, why did you quit? Like, we need to know because like it's like your company is almost like your family, like your second home. That's like, your uh, purpose. I mean, like I know Americans work hard, but like Japanese culture is just straight up like your career is your existence. That's mm-hmm. it. Like your family is a secondary thing. You come home to at 9 p.m. tonight. I don't know. <laughs> so he definitely wrong. he definitely went overboard, but like it's be- it's because he's scared. Like underneath all right. of whatever he's presenting, he's he's scared. I was like, <laughs> good character. Fine. You still suck, but fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't I make me want him to die him. any less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, actually, I'm like gonna. Are... Oh, sorry. So go on. Oh, it's this. Because Stephen mentioned that Tone is his favorite, and it's like, yeah, he's important, and like, the show would not be good without him. But at the same time, I have that? been like, <laughs> I have been desperately craving an on-screen death of his since like the second episode <laughs> of the show. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm just gonna quote mm-hmm. Jack's Blade here from the chat. He says, in all caps, "Anai is a punk ass biatch." I that choke the fuck out of him if he tried any of that mess. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> I wanted Haida to be the cool guy in that one scene where they're at the vending machine. I wanted Haida to be the cool guy. Be like, hey, you know, like, chill. With, uh, that's good. It's kind of fucked up. But then he he got the same treatment. I was like, ah. Yeah. Of you know, <laughs> so Haida's, I think, one of the issues why I, I struggle with, like, who's my favorite character. Because I feel like Haida's one where I'm, like, I've rooted for throughout the series. Like, yeah. But, but and Sarah and I talked about this last night, like, at length, about, like, his shortcomings are almost too short. <laughs> yeah. Like, they... they <laughs> A little baby bitch burger when Retsko has a baby bitch burger. burger. (laughs) Sarah, where have you been with that all these years? (laughs) Can we call that episode this episode baby bitch burger, please? (laughs) Wow. I don't know. Whenever Retsko like is with another guy or is you know off somewhere, he's always like, "Is Retsko with another dude?" Uh, Oh God, yeah. Stop. (laughs) Why to stop? Because <laughs> I, I, I'm all about that kind of, those kind of romance stories where you have the kind of hopeless romantic who's like, oh, I missed my chance, and 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 now maybe I'll be able to, oh, now's my chance. But like, I thought I thought they were gonna throw that at me and make it charming, and I'm like, okay, but but they were like, no, 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 come on, we gotta complicate <laughs> things a little more, and I'm like, oh. Well, I, hmm. And I think that's why, I, like, me struggling to think of a favorite character doesn't mean that there, there aren't good ones. I just, a lot of a lot of them kind of are, are even with me, and I think that's why. Uh, Hero, you were going to say something? Oh, uh, no. I, like, I, I agree with you on Haida. He's a, he's a, he's a BBB. I agree. Um, <laughs> but, well done, sir. Like, <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Um... I guess it's specifically like looking at him is so frustrating because unfortunately to some degree it's still relatable. Like if you like someone, you can't just turn off your feelings for them when they're with another person. Right. That would be sick. I would love if you could do that. But as someone who has been on unfortunately the receiving end of that where the person that you have been crushing on for years ends up with another person, yeah, he's pretty relatable. I don't want to be relatable with him. That sucks. Mm-hmm. But, like, I, it, he is still being a bitch. <laughs> a relatable bitch. And I guess that's why I kind of give it a slide. Yeah. I, um, and I, and I totally see that, Hero. Like, like, to, and I think that's one of the things why I've been so close to thinking, like, oh, maybe, maybe this is my character here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, but I think, I think he Haida finally gets it at like the end of season two, where it's like I, mm-hmm. maybe I gotta chill out just a little bit. <laughs> like, so, I, I think so too. Yeah. I think Finico though might have my favorite moment in the series, mm-hmm. um, where she was getting and and Sarah, I'll, I'll let you be Finico here, <laughs> but it was it was it was the bit where uh, we had um, Haida. Haida, yeah, Haida was going on about you know this oh, amazing tech guy, and Finico was like, yeah, whatever, and, and he's like, 
Finico. Like, the phone that you're holding would not exist if, if there weren't nerds like this in the world. And Finico goes... <laughs> Yeah, I'm over it. Like, like just her, just her, like, <laughs> like the amount of just like, no shit. Like, <laughs> I'm over it. I was just, oh god, that made me laugh. Uh, we just, we just got a super chat from Simon. We got one thousand huffs, huh. hey. and all puffs, and all <laughs> blow your life stream away. Simon said, hey. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Simon. Thanks, Simon. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, anything else uh, in regards to Gretzico? Good yeah, character is important next season. Yeah. When is next season? You... Probably next year. Uh, would you date Tadano, though? This is yes. the important question. Okay, all right. I'm glad you brought this up. <laughs> this was actually, this was about an hour and a half of Sarah and my conversation last night. So since, since it's on oh, the table. Really quickly, I'm sorry. I, I love how low I just like, yes. I'm like, girl, I know. I have thought about it. All right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. all right. So, so for those that aren't familiar with the show, um, and obviously some of this will probably fall in the spoiler region, but, uh, Tadana is the uh, is this tech savvy dude whiz, um, very chill type of guy, rich but like doesn't go to his head. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He. So <laughs> I was actually surprised by, by how this turned. I was like, okay, all right, good for them. They're really happy, it seems. Now, obviously, stuff came up, and this this could probably be a heavy debate, so we're going to do it, um, <laughs> where basically Tostada was like, <laughs> Yo, uh, I, I don't care about marriage. I don't, to me, it's Don't even get me started pointless. on kids. Don't get me started on kids. And that's like, for Retsuko, like... That's a, a deal breaker. That's a deal breaker to her. Because yeah. Retsuko's a normie. <laughs> and yeah, I did feel fine, like her okay. <laughs> her, like so, so regardless of of where that's coming from from Retsuko, I was t- I was like I told Sarah I'm like you know I'm kind of surprised because I feel like I feel like with a little bit of conversation, if if his whole thing about marriage is it seems pointless, but we'll stay together forever. Like if I'm Retsuko, I'm just like. Okay, well then, then you do this for me, like, <laughs> like just just hang tight for a day. It's not like it's a money issue, yeah. so just do it. the The kids thing would be more of a conversation. What? Oh, yeah. the wind. Sarah gave me this look, and I'm like, do you not think so? No, uh. no, sorry. It just got really windy, and it almost sounded like distant thunder. I'm like, it's not raining, is it? <laughs> so yeah, this was big. So okay, so hero's question. Let's go back to that. Would you date Topapa? Mm-hmm. Would you? Would I? Uh, Topaka from Bionicle. I, I'd probably date him. I probably wouldn't marry him. Yeah? yeah. Mm-hmm. But he wouldn't want I'm to be married anyway. Boat, yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> I would like casually. Well, he doesn't want to be married anyway, so yeah. when when? Like, I, I feel like it'd be more like, I'll date you for a while. <laughs> yeah, like it, it's more of like a fun kind of like... You do it for a while, and then it's like, all right, well, we had fun, so peace. See you later. Was Was anyone else surprised that they ended up breaking it off? No. 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 That's Retsuko for you. I don't, Just I don't you, think honey. Retsuko even knows. I gotta be real. I don't think Retsuko knows what she wants. Yeah. She doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't surprise me at all that they broke Because she's a normie. <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> Jack Sployd sends in a super chat saying, thank you, hero, for scolding paleo. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I'm too busy fapping off at dolphins to care about the <laughs> I, I, I guess, I guess, again, like, I'm, I get the whole, you know, different values. It's like, okay, there wasn't going to be that click. Mm-hmm. I guess I was just surprised at how quickly it was, like, things got called off. Yeah. Like, hey, things are going really mm-hmm. good. But, no, they're not over mm-hmm. some of that stuff. And I get it. Like, you know, I don't – I agree with Hero 100%. I don't think she knows what she wants. Um, which, you know, I'm, 
I do you guys who do you guys think like she's gonna end up with? Um, I hope not Haida actually. Yeah, I, I, I actually don't want not to be Haida. Haida either. Like I'm a little bit nervous about that because like right. same. Yeah. Because for actually three reasons of which I actually don't want to go into any of them, but like, <laughs> like of those three reasons, one of them is definitely a reigning one, but yeah, just I don't go want like to... write an essay and then send it to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let's start with number one hero. No, I don't. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> later. <laughs> because it is one of those things that's like, you really shouldn't say it on the internet. Okay. <laughs> Deal. Mm -hmm. We'll just expect your essay. My Inner essay species essay. marriages cannot happen. I hear you, dude. I hear oh. you. Exactly. That's number one. No. Um, <laughs> nah, but yeah, the, uh, yeah, like, yeah. I, <laughs> I think the series is going to end with her ending up with no one. Maybe. I think it'll be her happy with herself. Yeah. That wouldn't okay, be so bad. Cool. Jax, Jax is still in my thunder here because, like, I was, I was thinking about saying it, but I was like, eh, I don't want to say it. I won't throw my ship into this right now. But Wait, that Jax was one of the anyway. things you were worried about? Jax played with no, the Super no, Chat saying no, Finico. No, no, that's not one of the things. Okay, yeah, okay. That's not one of the things I'm worried about. Okay, Jax um, is Finico and uh, Haida. Yeah, that's my right. opinion yeah. as well, that they, yeah. they have a lot more chemistry and more in common, and they understand each other yeah. quite more than Rizzo they, and Haida. They seem to hang out a lot more, too. Yeah. Like, they're... I'm, gl yeah. I'm glad. You agree. <laughs> I just thought I was imagining Hero being like, I cannot interject my ship into this because it is dangerous to do on the internet. No, I mean, no, that's not. It. <laughs> Although, yeah, le legit, I just like wasn't gonna bring it up, but since Jack brought it up, I was like, yes, it is a good ship. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. No, it was. Um, I could, I could get behind that. Um, <laughs> I mean, she even called it. Damn. You're lying on the sidewalk right now in a puddle. I just want to, right. She she always has this. Oh, it's it's cute. It's cute. <laughs> um, Kari said Tadano's overrated. People are thirsting over him. He even he didn't even find a S M H. God, what a take! Oh my god. <laughs> I, oh, I I forgot to mention I have dated somebody who is very much like Tadano. Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And do you guys think it's safe to say that? That uh, Todano's an ass. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! Boo! <laughs> oh. Okay, wait. So we were talking about dating Todano. So if you could choose anyone on the show to date, who's it going to be? Oh. Fenico. Yeah. All right. Fenico for me. <laughs> The, I mean, it's the, what she made for me, lady. like, 100%. <laughs> That's the hippo lady. Come on. Say it more. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> she talks more than no, I do. You already said it. Right. It's too late. That's, that's your date now. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, no. No, I'm kidding. Please, Dear say God. whatever you want. Hmm. I'll say the... Uh... God, Fenico seems like fun, but I feel like... I feel like I'd get more lucky with the deer girl. Sunoda? If I'm just having... Sunoda <laughs> <laughs> Tsuno... is very, very, very closely my second favorite character. She's <laughs> like, she's such a jerk, but I love her. <laughs> but the thing I love about her is that she completely owns what she's doing. Yeah. Like, doesn't right, even deny yeah. it. Like, so uh, you do this, and she's like, yeah, and everyone probably hates me for it. But I will. <laughs> but, but you know. It. So. I'm just joking. I do kiss butt. I was like, damn, <laughs> all right. <it's> <laughs> Jack's like with another super chat. He says this one's for the pun. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you, Jax. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, I like... I all right, then. Uh... Go ahead. I was just going to say I would date Deer Girl. Yeah. But you don't think right. she would hurt you in the end? In the end? Well, it depends. Am I going into this? Am I going into this expecting it to be like a one-time date? Oh, I mean, oh are you doing like a one? Oh, is it a one time? I assumed it was like. I thought it was like date with the intention of like, if this goes well, then oh. marriage. You can do both. Either. Oh. Okay, so who would you fuck, date, and uh, kill? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. All right, I like that. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> 
We're doing it. Uh, so I I would I would probably fuck <laughs> dear lady. See no that her. Uh, I would date. <sighs> Again, this is where I go. I kind of want to say Retsuko, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know, man. She she got stuff to figure out. So, <laughs> so yeah, I would date Finico. I think she'd be fun. Just to, like she'd be a fun conversation, but she's also obsessed with weird things. But whatever, I'll say her, <laughs> and and I'd kill an eye. <laughs> All right, Sarah. You really didn't like him, did you? I didn't like him. No, I don't excuse that bullshittery. Um, so fuck. Did did Paleo leave the podcast? Like, did he hear this topic and just ditch? <laughs> no, his internet died. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, fuck for me would be um, Washimi. Mary, uh, which, which one's Washimi? The the secretary bird. The secretary the sec- bird. Oh, you'd fuck her? Yeah. Okay. Date would be Fenico, and then kill would be Mr. Tone. You would kill Tone? Yeah. Okay. Who next? Laura. Hero, what do you got? Oh, oh. what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> She's killing Tone. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely killing Tone. <laughs> so I'll just go. So I'm going to kill Tone, and I'm going to... Fuck Washimi and also date Washimi because I love her <laughs> more than anyone. Okay. okay. We're going to date first and then, you know, afterwards. Not the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. either way, it's fine. <laughs> Both ways. Okay. Hero? Mm. Really <laughs> this, huh? Uh, what's it? Fuck, I kill, right? Uh, I fuck date kill, FD. Fuck okay. date kill, but we can um, lead that into marriage. Hero would fuck Tone to death. <laughs> uh, I'm not. Oh God. <laughs> I would. I would kill Komiya easily. Like before I even thought about fucking or dating anyone, I would kill Komiya because wow. he's awful. Um, I would. Who would I like one time fuck? I have no idea. Tsunoda. I have an idea. I lied entirely. <laughs> um, and I would date Fennecal also. I love that we all, and we're going to get to Saber's answer, but I, I love that so far, like, everyone's got a really passionate kill. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you say you'd kill? Mr. Tone. Yeah, you said, okay, yeah. So, Saber. Um, probably date Washimi. Um,. Hmm. I'll tell you who would actually be probably a lot of fun is uh, Gory. Yeah. Like, slam down some alcohol and like, let's fuck. And just like, go nuts. I, I think <laughs> she's, she's... such a commitment person, though. I don't know, man. I think I think if you get her liquored up, she'd be like, this clock's turned a bit too tight. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like well, she'd, she'd call so you the next morning, though. Morning, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Like she just keep calling you. <laughs> You're right about that, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, huh. And that probably kill uh, the one potted plant that's to the top shelf in that space. You cadets. monster! <laughs> oh, I, I thought you actually meant uh, what is it, Rasaska? Actually, I probably I, I I yeah. I don't mean him. I, I probably uh, killed the lizard lady. I don't like her. The oh, yeah, she's terrible, terrible too. Too. Too, too, too. No, yeah, too, she's too bone, that's her name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's just asshole tone with lo- a lot less character. So yeah, um, she doesn't even have a redeeming quality. She's just the worst. <laughs> she's just there to berate. It's like yeah. it's not just tone. It's not just the weasel guy. It's also her, and yeah. it's laying it on. So yeah, I'd kill her. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Paleo says that I guess Discord is still updating, so we'll get his answer later. I just want to snap Komiya's neck, I gotta be honest. Like, I'm looking at a picture <laughs> of him right now. Man, you <laughs> really want this guy dead. <laughs> He's so he wants him dead, but to suffer a little bit before like everything yes. goes dark. <laughs> I feel you. Let's talk yeah, about but tone. I, and I get you, Hero <laughs> and Laura. I'm with you guys. We're just gonna sneak into the office one day. <laughs> Excuse me. I guess he's not a weasel. I don't, you know, be a cat. <sighs> Good stuff. Good stuff. I I see Nora submitted one, so I'll I'll answer hers too. Mm-hmm. She says that she would marry Haida. Mm-hmm. She would smash rich guy. 
and she would ax tone. Yeah. I just like the smashing the rich guy. Yeah. Smash him. <laughs> Wait, did all the girls say kill tone and all the boys say not tone but someone else? I yeah. I think so. Yes. I agree about that. Yeah. 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 Telling of something. Okay. <laughs> I, I I think the I last don't think that's my coincidence. <laughs> I think the only thing I think the thing that rubbed me the, the weirdest going back to Retsuko's decision to end things with Tanada is that <laughs> I know I, I'm never gonna get it right. <laughs> with Dominoes with, with, <laughs> with McDoo tomorrow. Um, okay, I'm back. Oh, good. Pain All right, back. Paleo, we got something for you. The- what? You gotta do, uh, out of Retsko characters, you have to pick somebody to fuck, somebody to date, and somebody to kill. Yep. Hmm. I'm curious if it's kill answer, just to see if it falls in line. <laughs> um. Let's see. Probably fuck Fenico. Okay. Uh. Date Haida. Okay. Oh, is he your type? Yeah, kinda. Okay. Um. Who would I want to kill, though? So many. Because I, I, I was listening in earlier, and that I was listening in earlier, and that, and I was reminded of that lizard lady. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know. What's what's the uh, space cadet guy's name? Because oh, oh man. man, he's just such a uh, like he's such a nothing person. <laughs> like he, he, he was, was not in like his life. <laughs> <laughs> he's just doing his thing, my guy. I <laughs> miss him so much. His, <laughs> his, <laughs> his, his, his <laughs> biggest <laughs> sin was being boring. <laughs> Objectively horrid people, and you're like, yeah, this guy doesn't even have a personality. He's just awesome. <laughs> Is that your answer? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll be different. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Paleo. Next time up. Sasuke shows up, I'm gonna feel terrible for him. I'm like, oh my god, Paleo wants you dead. <laughs> just for being there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I um yeah. I, what I was gonna say before Paleo got back was that um. I think the the biggest thing that I shook my head at wasn't wasn't the relationship ending between Todano and Retsuko. Mm-hmm. It was it. it was her saying how important and and this actually falls in line with what you guys were talking about. And it very much could be cultural and that's why I'm missing it a little bit is is talking about how it's like oh, I can't leave work and I'm like Oh, I would leave that work so fast. Like, <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. like with that kind of manager having tone, yeah. there, no way, no freaking way. Yeah. I would find an excuse to be like, nope, can't do it. Yeah. Like that is, again, I I know you even you even it's you even mentioned it, but yeah, that's your American speaking, yep. <laughs> definitely. USA, <Yeah>. USA. <laughs> oh, um, we got some breaking news here. Oh. Uh, Kari, Kari just told me. Um, apparently, Pony Fest, um, uh, uh, on, well, that'll be on this Saturday. Um, they have Lena Hall, who is the voice of Captain's oh. Coloratura. Oh my uh, god! Is going to be uh, streaming at five thirty oh. on Pony oh, Fest. I'm gonna walk in there. Perhaps so the Pony Fest for the being the biggest con for ponies in 2020. <laughs> <laughs> for real. I'm like, hey, you voiced in my favorite episode. Hi, lady. <laughs> I'll take things I wasn't expecting this year, Alex, for 200. Well, not my favorite episode, but episode Jack's my favorite song anyway. By the way, with another... Jack's, Jax is just going all out tonight. Thank you, Jax. Uh, it says, Paleo says I'm safe as long as I don't call myself one, so I'm going to say it. Finico is one of the hottest characters in that furry show. I want her to rock me. <laughs> Jax, you're not safe anymore. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You haven't been safe for a while. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, is, is this safe for me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. No, Jax, Jax, when we have arguments even, over a rabbit Don't woman. even. At, yeah, with your rabbit girlfriends. Don't even at me, Jax. <laughs> <laughs> like, even baby. I'm sitting here going, no, I mean, we, we're in trouble. Listen, guys, I'm not saying I'm a furry or anything, but I would totally smash Lola Bunny every day. Of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Smart, guy. 
shot fire. <laughs> oh god, you're hitting him when he can't even defend himself. Oh no. <laughs> like he like he could. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing I'm saying is false. <laughs> oh, well, um, I guess we can kind of jump into Q and A here. Um, obviously, if there's anything else you guys like to add about uh, Gretzico as we kind of to date with it in the future, so that could be a conversation piece as, as those come out again. But yeah, I enjoyed it. I, I I'm glad that I finally watched it. Um, it was a uh, it's a fun show. My God, is it infuriating as it as it is made to be though. It because some of it yes. is way too close to home. Oh, and that's for you in America. Apparently, not a, not only according to the draft, but again to some of my Japanese friends, like you can't, they can't even like watch the show because it's like that's hitting a little too high, right? <laughs> I can't yes. be looking at that. I remember, and, like it's it's like a funny, like cute show apparently in America, and like a cute, a little too close to home show in Japan. Isn't that great? <laughs> yeah. I, I do remember you guys. Uh, talking somebody I was I was talking with having this conversation it might have even been you Sarah mm -hmm. but somebody explaining to me like oh yeah no this is like a thing like like apparently like this is normal for you know because I was at first caught off guard by the you know tea serving and the cleaning of the boss's desk and all this other stuff I'm like wow that's just yeah that's pretty common yeah to me I'm like yeah. well, what kind of abuse is this <laughs> Japan's like uh, <laughs> Wednesday <laughs> by the way Jax is defending himself and he well, says tell him to get in here he says look okay then I am such furry trash I would take Lola Finico Sally and that dear Spyro girl at once I ate I ain't She's holding, a uh, hiding fawn, my damn straight. Dork. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a difference between a deer and a fawn? Yeah, an entire torso. <laughs> <laughs> Is there? What? I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Viva said, Jax, you're on main. Like, stop being horny. <laughs> I, 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 I can stand up for Jax. Jax does indeed have an official license to be horny on main. He can show it to you, even. <laughs> I don't know how he acquired that. But he, yeah, who is the authority it. that distributed the this license of which you speak? <laughs> the DMV. Ah, uh, yes. FDA. <laughs> <laughs> the FBI. OSHA. <laughs> All right, well, uh, do we, let's jump into our Q&A fun here. Yeah. While we that? do that, I'm going to grab my laptop charger because I'm running low on battery. All oh, right. Um, so the way this works, uh, Q&A, um, if you'd like to submit a question through Twitter, um, use hashtag SPP questions. Uh, if you would like, uh, so we'll try to get through everybody, but we can't promise for sure that we will get through all the uh, questions. But if you would like for sure us to get to your question, uh, we always prioritize our super chats. So you can ask a question through super chat as many people have been, uh, especially Jack's played. If you have any questions on how to use super chat, just <laughs> ask Jack's played. <laughs> Cause now we got him defending himself. <laughs> so this is perfect. Um, but yeah, so we'll, uh, we will get that going here. I, we just got a super chat. Yeah. And okay, cool. See, see, ah, we already have questions coming in. So go ahead and ask us. The questions can be as random as you want. Um, doesn't have to be just in regards to the stuff that we've discussed here. Um, we enjoy some weird thought provoking questions as well. So to kick us off, C.284 with a super chat asking, who is your favorite character in Animal Crossing? Who? <laughs> Who? Who? Uh, well, well, that's related because Blathers. Uh, uh, I love Blathers. Blathers. He's great. Who's Blathers? He's the owl that curates the museum. That Blathers yeah. Home. Okay. The museum curator. Um, probably for me. Oh man, I have like I think three that are kind of like my tops, but. Currently living in my village right now, Punchy. Um, Punchy, I don't know who that he's, is. He's he's like he's a, a lazy type uh, cat. Uh, he's he looks oh, like he's high guy. all the time. Yeah. He talks like he's high all the time. 
Why do you, why do you like him so much? I don't know. He's, he's just a fun personality, and he's weird. And I don't know. I just like how oh. weird he is. He calls me Guacamole. That's my nickname that he gave me. Didn't you accidentally accept that nickname? I Well, I... I purposely did it because I didn't want to hurt his feelings by turning it down. And now you like, guys in your Animal people, Crossing characters, and now three other people are gonna like under- call, call me guacamole. He doesn't get it. He doesn't get. Like you can't just hurt their feelings. But yeah, I also you just talked about wanting to break an animated character's neck, Hirosashi, like five minutes ago. I also really <laughs> enjoy Marshall and Fuchsia. Marshall is okay. So you can buy the the, the cards, the amiibo cards yeah. for the Animal Crossing characters to like make certain that you get them in your village, right? Mm-hmm. I I did that with a few. They cost like anywhere from like well, I did it like right when it was announced that you can do that, so the prices hadn't jumped up insanely. Yeah. But I got my favorite character, who's Bangle, the tiger, mm-hmm. uh, for ninety nine cents because no one cares about Bangle except for me. I love her to death. So I that's cool. I also got Whitney, uh, the snooty uh, wolf girl, uh-huh. uh, for 15 because she was really popular and she's in the Animal Crossing movie. Yeah. Uh, she's like 30 ish dollars now, which, wow. okay, sure, double in price. Marshall, who's one of our friends, Katie, so I was like, hey, how much does Marshall cost? I kind of like Marshall. And I was like, I've never heard of him. Let me look it up. Marshall cost $100. Yeah. <laughs> I, he is apparently incredibly popular. He is incredibly I've never popular. heard of him. Yeah. Uh, also, it? also Bob, who was my first villager like ever on the GameCube, because yeah. uh, he's just a cool purple cat. He's yeah, just no, a lazy he's a dude. He's a meme. Though. He's great. <laughs> Wait, do you have Bob? I'm so jealous. No, I don't. Oh. No, he was the first uh, like Animal Crossing character on my GameCube oh. uh, Animal Crossing. Um, oh my god, so wholesome. But <laughs> I, I just had a villager leave today, so I'm like, okay, I gotta go to the islands and try to find Bob. Use all the, I'm sure you have hell in the miles, so just use them. Yeah. Gotta find Bob. I've been find, trying to find Tia for like, since I got the game. Tia. I have Tia at my either. village. Oh, so jelly. Yeah. Oh. I had to get rid of elephant. Pietro, the, the creepy ass clown sheep. Oh, I thought about that. It was his birthday like two days ago. Yeah, well, it wasn't on my island because he was gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm um, surprised I know that, actually. That's really random information that I have. <laughs> my favorite Animal Crossing character is Isabel. Yeah. Yeah. She's so cute. Yeah. Yeah. She's cute. <laughs> mm hmm. I've Wait, seen the so... most of her than any other Animal Crossing characters. Yes. I mean, that's more ways than one. It's not the bunny day bunny? <laughs> oh, gosh. oh my gosh. Another character whose neck I would not mind. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the, the Easter one? Yeah. Somebody made a comic trying to make people feel bad about disliking the Easter bunny. And people were like, oh, I feel bad now. I was like, didn't do a thing to me. So like how my a nice story did nothing for you. So that's he's actually story. Jesus. Nope. <laughs> oh. He's Jesus under that costume. Is this an answer, Sarah? Um, Nora Mermaid uh, sent a super chat saying "Gaga Pony." That's all. Uh, I think Gaga she's just Pony? doing a shout out for the yeah the Countess Calatura. Yeah. yeah. Oh. 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 Okay. I I didn't know if there was an Animal Crossing character. Animal Crossing Gaga. Character, yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, cool. Nice. I actually really like Tom Nook in this iteration. I'm like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I like, I like him the best movie. in this iteration. Yeah. Like, a, like, a, like a, like a, he's just a, t- he, can look, he looks so tired, but he's like doing his best. And he's yeah. like a family man. I'm like, this is really <laughs> one, awesome. One time I walked into the res- re- resident services building and like both Tom Nook and Isabel were doing like these stretches. I was oh, like, oh, yes, that's nice. I love when they do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jeffrey has just no context beyond what we've the little that we've played. Together. I I uh I used an axe. Yes, he used nice. an axe. I hit Good a job. tree once. <laughs> what? Only one time. <laughs> Did we get to everybody's favorite Animal Crossing characters? Yes. Yeah. I think Saber's still thinking of his, but okay. <laughs> Oh I Isabel, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Doom Guy. 
Doom guys. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a question on Twitter from Maddie uh, asking, how's quarantine treating everyone? Anyone find any new activities? Has anyone study. found study anything besides Animal work, Crossing? But... <laughs> I got a cat. You did get a cat. That'll be an activity yeah. and a half. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm playing video games for the first time in years. It feels yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, well, you're playing Kingdom that. Hearts, which I didn't think you would ever play, but I guess now is the time to do it. <laughs> yep. You wait. You never thought I'd play Kingdom Hearts. No, you're like, don't spoil Kingdom Hearts three for me. I'm gonna get there. And I was like, have you played like how many Kingdom Hearts have you played? And you're like, eh. Like, yeah, Kingdom Hearts <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm I'm glad you guys got through Chain of Memories because that is the biggest hump. It's the yeah. worst. It's the worst. Yeah, that's yeah. the biggest hump. It's all downhill from there. Just freaking wait, guys. <laughs> but that, still, that playthrough but... is gonna be just. It's what do you call it? Chain of Suffering, Sarah. Yes. Chain. <laughs> <laughs> but like, legitimately, just. Man, the story right now is the most sense that it's ever going to make. Like, all the, as confusing as the story is right now, this is where it makes sense. It just gets more <laughs> what the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> so the we, you go. We, we also have, um, what is it, uh, 358 over two days. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. we, uh, watched we have officially watched that, too. Yeah. Oh, you watched it. Oh, you did? Oh, did you like nice. it? Yeah, it was nice that they just said, here's the story. <laughs> yeah. So, they're like, we And now I can play Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah. Which I is actually fun. understand it, understanding quotations, in like seven quotations, but... Right. Well, yeah, you, I... like, you can actually understand the beginning of Kingdom Hearts 2. Right. The beginning actually pissed me off of Kingdom Hearts 2, back when I played it, because I was like, these no are not the characters I love. <laughs> Where's the characters I love? And so, yeah, um, yeah, I, I look forward to uh, context, but uh, now we have it. So Sarah's going to be like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be like, you do not understand what it was like <laughs> going from one to two. Like, um, you know, watching the cut scene at the beginning of two after playing through 58 over two, it's, it's not like, oh, I understand everything. It's more of like, Oh, she's there. Okay, she can be there because she was there before. Okay, I am. I, mm-hmm. That's fine. It's not like <laughs> oh, I understand Kingdom Hearts because that's not a real way you can be in the world. You can't do that. <laughs> oh man. So, um, uh, anyone else with any new activities that they've got? I'm I'm not quarantined, so uh, I'm going to work. <laughs> they still have me on the what in the world? I'm sorry, what do you do again, if you don't mind my asking? Um, I'm an engineer for a, um, like, wire testing company. Um, it's not essential, so it's like, it's just that Virginia hasn't closed non-essential companies. They've closed certain ones where it's like, you know, your movie theaters and your, yeah. like, shopping and whatever. But, like, everything else is still open, so, like, unless it's, like, an office building where you can't do social distancing. But, like, we have... Mm-hmm five employees so we're fine are you is that job possible to do remotely i mean parts of it are but most of it's not um because there's like a lot of like high voltage equipment we use to do like a bunch of tests okay so like that has to be done kind of on site um and i mean like we're still getting projects in from other companies so like somebody's at least sending us stuff you know Mm -hmm. crazy nuts man oh man um all right we got to cover super chats that have come in fire team harmony this one's kind of closely related but i'll ask it in the beautiful way that they ask it uh fire team harmony wants to know has the apocalypse made you more productive the opposite <laughs> uh on my sleep i've become much more productive <laughs> <laughs> I have not slept this much since maybe before I got into, maybe during college. Yeah. Don't tell my mom. (laughs) But there were many days where I went, wow, I slept through three classes. (laughs) Okay, not many days, but there were, (laughs) huh. It's made, I mean, I guess on the, the gaming channel side, it's made us very productive. On everything else, it's like, 
opposite. Hmm. Like, Tommy keeps messaging me about, like, hey, there's a race that's happening in Arizona. I'm like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, good for them. Yeah. <laughs> so should we go? Should we cover it? I, I guess they were asking. I don't know. I, who knows? Maybe I'll be in Arizona in two weeks. I don't know. Weird. Um... Julian Smith sends in a super chat. It says, now be... Oh, wait. What is this? Whatever. I'll just read it. Now be careful. You don't want to offend Susie Lou, or she will falsely copyright strike this steam or falsely flag this video. LOL. Who's Susie Lou? Yeah, who's Susie Lou? I don't know. Oh, no. <laughs> is Susie Lou an Animal Crossing character? <laughs> I don't think so. No, they don't. Do they ever have two? Yeah, I guess they do. Agent. Oh, Agent man. Or Kid Cat. Cat Kid. I forget his name. There's like, yeah. there's like somebody that we're, like, in real life that we're calling out right now that we're like, I don't know. Who's, 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 who's. <laughs> um, we just got a, a dang. Look at this a super I chat we just quit. got from Britt Fields. Uh, it says. This isn't a question, but I got my wedding rings in the mail today, and my fiance and I are getting married in 31 days, and I'm just excited. So I'm sharing a little love to y'all to add a question. First off, before we get to the question, congratulations again, Brett. Congratulations. It was so fun. For those that don't know, uh, we we got to be a part of uh, Britt getting the question asked from her <laughs> Nice. Yeah. popping the question uh, <laughs> on a on one of our who's lines yeah. so that was a very special moment for us to be a part of um now the question that brit's got is what have you liked slash disliked about online conventions hmm. i let me tell you there there's something i hate about them <laughs> yeah and it has nothing to do with the convention themselves it is it is me going damn it we're uh -huh. stuck doing online conventions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We can't uh, see people. We can't go into the the in like each other's rooms and like do uh, like watch crappy videos on on YouTube. Oh yeah, that, that's, together like in person. It's the circum circumstance of why they're successful that makes me go. Uh, it, it's that. Um, so it's the it's. Uh just the entire span of time from like okay we're leaving the con for the day to go eat dinner with our group of friends and then we're yeah. gonna go back to the room they like walk back to the room and just settling into the room that specific area of time is just like maximum zen relax. i love it i love it so much and you can't do that with all my conventions yeah because you're just at home it's like oh i'm here <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, it's 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 also just the lack of of human interaction, being with your friends in the same place. It's like that. That's the stuff that it's like. Oh. So, yeah. But I, I, you know, as we kind of alluded to earlier, Pony Fest is doing a great job. Um, so so this has been uh, it's been fun to see the the people they've been able to get together. We're uh, excited to be a part of it once again. Uh, like we said, we'll be doing Jackbox at uh, 11 a.m. Pacific time, 2 p.m. Eastern time, and uh, Saturday. Right? Saturday. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then I, I think I mentioned this earlier, but I'm also going to be part of a Z another Zootopia minute, uh, and that's also going to be part of Pony Fest uh, online because ponies and Zootopia minute, baby. Uh, that'll be 4:30 Eastern. Uh, when that'll be taking place so probably around the time that ours ends is when that one's going to be picking up or maybe uh, there'll be a bit of a break in there but uh yeah but yeah as far as what i've liked it's i mean i i like that you know there's there's obvious steam ahead uh for this and you know for i just i just enjoy seeing everyone getting excited about these yeah. and, uh for us you know they're they're a lot of fun to participate in so um, we'll see I think here. My, my like and my dislike will be the same thing. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be uh, vendor halls for me because since I'm not physically in a vendor hall surrounded by that energy of everybody else being in the vendor hall, I'm not making a bunch of impulse buys, which is, you know, hey, I'm saving money. But at the same time, it's like I want to impulse buy my pony stuff. Mm -hmm. 
So, you know, it's a good and a bad. Yeah. I hear you. I miss walking the vendor hall yep. with you guys. Finding all the exciting art. <laughs> the hidden gems, if yes. you will. Mm-hmm. Yes. We have, like, our own little, like, group that's like, okay, guys, time to buckle down. Um, Let's see here. On, uh, oh, Julian Smith says... Follows up saying, sorry, I brought the drama of that one YouTuber, Susie Lou, while trying to turn her into a meme. I guess. Never give up, Julian. <laughs> Never give up. I have up. no idea who it is. Uh, uh, on Twitter, let's let's look over at Twitter. Uh, hashtag SPP questions. Santo Celine asks, do you wish Western animation did more animation techniques from Japan? And in parentheses, uh, there's the word sakuga, which I think means when... Wait, I looked it up. Actually, sakuga is a term used in anime to describe moments of a show or movie when the quality of the animation improves drastically. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we do that in the Western animation sometimes. SpongeBob does that all the time. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't quite hear what you said. What is it? It's it's so basically it's it's when the animation becomes like super high quality animation. Like think Steven Universe, that one moment that James Baxter. The James Baxter, anime. yeah. <laughs> ah, the, yeah. Yes. One. <laughs> I, I think here uh, you said. Sponge. Rise the team and he does that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because when I think of like SpongeBob mm-hmm. as an example of this, would it be like when it like does like a super zoom of his face and like you see yeah. all of his yeah. pores sweating? The thing is, there's kind of... <laughs> when when they say like Japanese animation techniques. That when I think Japanese animation techniques, I also think of shortcuts. And right. there's a lot of shortcuts that anime takes that Western animation does not take. That's and true. that's look, why look, it, look, uh, this crowd shot pan <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> oh my gosh, the freaking the freaking montages where it's just 16 pictures panning and you're like animation yep. right <laughs> yeah or there's like action so- action sequences where it's like okay is there there's a shot of them just like clashing but it's still like yep. mm-hmm. i've seen some cartoon re- cartoons recently do that and i'm like please don't like, stop it <laughs> like, like, that, leave that to the anime stop stop <laughs> uh, what i love about western cartoons is like when characters aren't the focus of the shot they're still not still they're like moving slightly and their eyes are blinking and whatnot in anime characters are actually just still for like hundreds of frames i'm like what is going on <laughs> this is one of the reasons i'm so disappointed momocon's not happening this year because we have a panel called cartoons versus anime and like oh. <laughs> we would bring up stuff like this it shall because like I feel, I feel like the like the the typical internet like again if you if you like if you like anime more than cartoons by all means feel that way but i feel like the typical like immediate response on the internet is like anime versus cartoons people are like oh yeah anime is so deep and it has blah blah blah, blah, blah. and that's fine again <laughs> but it's like there's so many things that cartoons do better than anime there's no one ever brings them up and it's like I yeah wish we had that panel so we kind of brought them up exactly exactly <laughs> because like we're still like big fans of anime it's just that <laughs> the <laughs> internet t- tends to put anime on this huge pedestal right <laughs> Oh, so, you know anime has problems too, right? <laughs> 2021, watch out, Momocon. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And like, watch out us because we're going to get killed by people. Who, <laughs> yeah. People don't like stand anime. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, why are you booing me? I'm right. <laughs> uh, no, that's always been kind of my take too on it. Like, I haven't watched a lot of anime, but I've always been like, but I like my Western animation. Mm-hmm. So, Why? But then certain animes have roped me in. Uh, Quiet Storm's got a question uh, asking, how do you feel about the fact that the Easter Fool stream is like two years old now, LOL? Um, so for those that don't know what Quiet Storm's referring to, this was... Oh, yeah. This is yeah. actually a kind of a funny story. Um, so, uh, well, it says Easter Fools. Now I'm trying to think. Because I'm thinking it's the April it, Fools. It, yeah, it's April Fools. The East, yeah. April Fools. Oh, because wasn't it like the same weekend? I think maybe I don't know. It might have been the. I think it was the same weekend. Um. So so what happened was I created this. What was it? Fifteen hour. Yeah. Video that was literally 
um, I think it was titled, uh, what would have, like, what would have happened if Judy Hopps did not go back for the fox repellent? <laughs> because she, so she, she leaves her apartment room, shuts the door, saying, ah, I don't need that. And then opens the door back up, grabs it, and goes to work. Yeah. And so, I, me and my brilliance, I was like, well, if she never comes back, then the scene will never change. It'll just sit there and wait for her <laughs> to get back. And I literally made a 15-hour video from the time that she leaves for work. To when she comes to back. To when she comes <laughs> back in the movie that includes, in the background, you, he you hear a bell ringing every hour. Yeah. You hear certain scenes go walking by off in the distance from the actual from the movie, yeah. um, and it ends with her coming in. and And we went all out here by we, I mean Sarah, because Sarah also <laughs> went and animated the shadow effect yeah. to to occur from morning, noon to well, I didn't afternoon animate tonight. It. It's just more of like I did different times of the day based on what the shadow would look like and then you just transition to each one very slowly <laughs> over 16 hours to, to me dear that is western animation in its finest okay, okay? um <laughs> and so and so what happened though is that we happened to be at a convention i was at a convention when this was going to air so sarah got stuck yeah streaming it because youtube decided that my channel can't post videos longer than 12 hours yeah. yet you can look on youtube and easily find videos that are going up that are way more than that yeah. and i was like mm -hmm. no i can't shorten this it'll mess up the time i was too much of a purist with my own joke that yeah. everyone was probably like okay and so what happened during the stream though sarah because this is what i think is uh, hilarious yeah so there was the occasional like flip where it would like be like oops uh stream quality is really shutting down we might actually lose the stream but it was within that like last like 15 to 20 minutes where it really started to like just crash and burn as far as like <laughs> i had to put up the screen stream like i think and two other times like it was people were know. like oh my god I'm like it's almost at the end and she's almost about to come home and it, like everybody's gonna like miss the big payoff for this if i don't was get her coming working. home yeah that's the payoff is for watching this fucking 16 hour long stream <laughs> is for to listen to her come home and play her all and make her dinner or whatever okay, and then go to bed bad. yeah she yeah. yeah and oh my gosh and yeah. sarah's like you have no idea how I'm, i made it happen but it was a shit show. <laughs> was it like what? Wasn't everyone freaking out in the chat room? Like yeah, oh! like everybody's like oh no, and like I'm you know trying to put the stream back up. Meanwhile, like the the, the video's still going because we were just capturing like the the. Uh, or I, I don't know. I can't remember how it fucking worked. But yeah, <laughs> like I was just trying to get it back up, and it and it worked. Did did you um? What was the? How many people were there at the end of it? Do oh, you remember? I, uh, couple thousand i think maybe quiet storm would know maybe yeah <laughs> if you remember but it was just, just stupid insanity on my part and poor sarah got stuck with it yeah sarah you got to do this for me <laughs> uh we got a super chat here from brit fields ask well, actually real quick julian smith with a super chat says a long starlight glimmer spawns spawns in i don't know if you know this there's like an ongoing joke about Starlight Glimmer is actually a really, really long pony. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the joke. Okay. Yeah. Um, Britt Fields with a super chat asking, what are y'all most excited to do after the virus stuff is over? So I'll stop there. There's a second part of this question, but what are you guys most excited to do after this virus stuff is over once everything gets back to normal? See a human being. <laughs> Kiss saber spark on the mouth. <laughs> oh, me too. Me too. No, we're, we're all we're all I, excited about doing that. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I, I just had to be the one to bring it up because no one else was gonna say it. <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing. I want to kiss me too. You have um, a mirror. <laughs> would you kiss you if you could? Would you kiss you? Uh, I'd be freaked out over. Wait, so it's just completely normal. Like I'm not like questioning the the physics of this of like how this reality warped to our. Yeah, it's just, it's just a clone. Yeah, let's. <laughs> it's just a you know a clone. Okay, wait, a clone is totally different. <laughs> 
I, I was thinking in the in the way that it's a clone. Yes. It's okay. Clone. I basically, yeah. shelve all the science stuff. It's this is yes. fine. Okay. Um. I'm. I'm. I don't think I'm gay enough to do it. And I mean that in like in is a sincere gay? way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kissing another man and sucking his but dick. It's not it's you man. gay? I don't know. <laughs> not what, not wait, 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 wait. How, how, how is it not that another man? man? But it's you. It's a clone of you. Are you saying I'm yeah, not a man are you hero? Saying you would kiss yourself. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that's no. I would. I would not kiss myself. <laughs> like I'm just saying. But is it? Is it gay? Is that the that word that you would use? Yes. yes. Yeah. Because it's another it's, like it's, it's another it's, male. You, you say another. But what is? What, what would you call it? Kisturbation. <laughs> Like, <laughs> how, how is it not another? Not like there are two of here. the same You're sex there. Physical person, but it's just you. <laughs> but it's just you. Yeah. Just yeah. making up words that the dictionary will scram. I like it. Kisturbation. I like it. Kisturbation. Another, another rival title for this video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then if we're calling it kisturbation, uh -huh. so then like. Would you then have sex with that clone that's yourself? Because, I mean, like, you're cool with <laughs> masturbating. No, nah, that's But then are you also then, because that is that also called masturbating <laughs> yeah, now? Sex with me. <laughs> so masturbating is gay, but kissing, no, nah, that, that's fine. <laughs> I don't I'm know. I'm trying to find out. Now. <laughs> I will never fuck masturbation ever. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. We are getting so so off topic i am so sorry i just want to remind you all that this spawned off of what are y'all like most excited to do after the virus started over. and now we're talking about uh, fucking ourselves so uh, no. wait 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 so jack's blade i think what did he say jack's blade says he just sent a super chat says it ain't gay to kiss yourself i kiss myself every morning but on the lips though but on how? the lips though how right he kisses his ass. <laughs> How are you flexible enough for that, my guy? <laughs> it's Jack's blade. You've seen the video. <laughs> Actually, I guess if, you, if your lips are are touching each other, isn't that technically kissing yourself? Uh, you ever pull your lips out? You're like, I'm a duck. <laughs> 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 Every day, every Wait. day. <laughs> you pull your lips out, and you're like, "I can't even." Do it. I'm laughing too hard. My lips are. Like, <laughs> you okay? I'm I'm good. I'm just goofing. What are What are some some normal things that maybe you weren't so like excited necessarily about that you're like, I look forward to doing this once the virus stuff is over? Because I know Sarah and I have talked about this. Sarah, you said. Uh, like you look forward to just eating inside of a restaurant yeah. again. Yes. Yeah. I'm so there, yeah. Uh, I, I, I haven't been since the first time I went, but now I really want to since I've uh, played a lot of the games now. Uh, I want to go to the arcade with uh, Hero to play the Final Fantasy Theater Rhythm. Mm. Yeah. I, I'm, I can't wait to be back in a movie theater with that over buttered popcorn. And... <laughs> <laughs> wait, can I be super honest? Because like, I don't ever want to go to a movie theater again. <laughs> oh, oh, why? Like, I would just so much rather be like, oh, this movie came out. I'll go home from work today and I'll watch it on my own TV and, like, eat oh, my dinner. Not, I I, yeah, Scoob was announced it's uh, coming out May 15th digitally now. That's See, right. but do I have to pay twenty dollars to watch it, rent it in my house? Because that's where I'm like, yeah, we had the regal this, unlimited yeah, pass. <laughs> so I totally get that, I, right. and I like agree to an extent because it's like it's hard to price that because you're, you know, you're not paying per person, you're paying per household, and like, I mean, I live by myself, but yeah. I almost and like to an extent, like when you're paying, you know, your your regular ten plus dollar movie ticket. You're paying to see it with like the professional sound and like the big screen mm -hmm, and everything, right. but then like you know if you're one person, it's like oh that's ridiculous. I would pay less than that just for my like just to go see it in the theater. Why would I pay more? Mm -hmm. But if you're like a family of six, it's like holy shit, I'm basically stealing this movie because mm -hmm. like that's it true. would cost I mean, me a hundred dollars yeah. to bring me and my spouse and all of our kids to the theater, and now we're all watching it for twenty bucks. And we don't even have to buy the overpriced snacks. Like, mm -hmm. we can just eat whatever we have here. Mm -hmm. So it's, like, it's hard to find that balance, I think. 
Mm. But like twenty dollars is kind of been like okay somewhere in the middle. I mean, like again for like you and for me and for like people who watch movies alone, like yeah, it's a lot. But if they lower it too much, then it's like they're just gonna constantly people taking advantage of it. They they are. I mean, like box office in general is so screwed with <laughs> like, like granted i oh, know yeah. there's a lot of money in the industry um but it's like some of these these movies are losing so much money compared to what they were probably counting on when they started making them it's like ouch well one of the biggest things about this industry in general is you never want to go back on like having a good year because then they raise the stakes like oh we had a 20 percent increase and the last thing you want is to decrease by any means at all Mm -hmm. like even if it's something as amazing as disney last year it's still seen as well it was a 70 forward you know decrease compared to last year's profits or whatever mm -hmm. it's like oh wow it really fucked up it's like, no, you had an outstanding year like it's okay so but yeah i want to hug laura damn i am overdue for human contact so that's that's on my list um definitely just walk through a store any store and just know that there's no fear like that's that's the biggest thing. I I just want this to be done, so I can just go back to the status quo and enjoy just the norm of just going outside. Because mm -hmm. I mean, all things considered, I mean I'm in a much better boat than other folks, and didn't mean to that the rhyme. It almost kind of did, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And then I guess it didn't really rhyme. Boat folks, not really. Ah, yeah, whatever. Slap rhyme. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. I want bubble tea so much so much and i can't have it because all the bubble tea places are closed there's and... nowhere that like would deliver it what no like no all of them are just done they're not open oh in, god in anyway Sucks. and i just recently like got into bubble tea oh no and i love it mm. and now i can't have it oh, no. <laughs> it's uh, killing me uh, i i bought like a box of like uh they're like microwavable cookie cups that are gluten and dairy free. Ooh. And like when those came in the mail, I was like, man, this is the best time ever in quarantine. <laughs> I get cookies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because honestly, like a lot of a lot of like my gluten free and dairy free stuff have been kind of scarce. Uh, and I'm just oh, like, yeah, Whew. yeah, like uh, I just recently at the store, the gluten-free pasta was back in stock and i'm like oh i gotta grab like a bag or two of this because yeah. it's been mm -hmm. out of stock and yeah there was a while that's uh nice that's pop, kind of scary man. yeah that's yeah. scary yeah uh there's another part of this question and if anyone has any other answers for the first part of it uh go ahead and continue go to conventions i can't wait for cons get yes. back on track oh my God. and that's actually yeah. the second part of this question is uh are y'all looking uh, at attending any cons this fall, assuming that they're happening. Um, obviously, even at this stage of the year, um, it's probably still ahead of schedule that we would have been able to figure a lot of the stuff out. But um, obviously, we're certainly hoping the best that uh, everything works out. Because when he said he moved their dates mm -hmm. um, to July, yeah, it's July, so, yeah, so which is still like precariously. Like yeah. back in March, it's like oh, it's out of the range. Now it's like. Uh... I don't know. Still crossing my fingers. <laughs> oh, I, I, me too. I I love. Uh, you like Momocon? I love Winnie City. I think Charlie's excellent person to have in charge because he <clears throat> he's got uh, integrity. He will never want to put anybody in danger. So I trust him. Yep. Yeah. And hopefully, uh, Cider Fest will happen as well. If if Winnie City ends up not happening, at least maybe we can do Cider Fest. Yeah, I feel like there actually might be a surge of convention attendee attendance uh, at the end of this year. Yeah. And next year. I'm, I'm definitely trying to well, go to a con as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah, if uh assuming it goes through, I mean August is almost kinda like kinda on the verge anyway right now, but if uh Everfree Northwest um happens then I'll be there. Yeah. Ever that's the thing, I'm like I'm like looking now granted again we're we're talking months down the road so so hopefully uh for these conventions because I, I i was like oh yeah everfree northwest you know it's like a convention that's um they chose a good year to move their dates back didn't they <laughs> to august. Sure did. but august yeah i feel like that's that is it feels safe like at least if things are calming, calming down maybe depends if things rebound if it rebounds then no 
We're trying um, to open a society again so fast that I'm really terrified. I gotta go to the bowling alley, hero. Damn it. <laughs> I can't just stand here with my bowling alley. All butt. the Karens need to get their hair cut. Oh I don't God. care if I, I don't <laughs> even get me started because I'll like, kill one thousand non-essential workers to get my hair cut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Fire Team Harmony sent in a super chat saying, "Stay strong during the apocalypse. Clean your football armor. Look forward to seeing you again in the new world. <laughs> please." And then says, "Please do another bronies, <laughs> another react. We're bored." <laughs> they also said that it's against team policy to kiss ourselves, but. He'll be honest. He kisses the inside of his helmet. Oh. Hot. That's a way around it. You don't even need to clone yourself. Nice. And Nora also had a super chat here saying, I miss hugging people, especially certain people. Which obviously oh, miss you, Nora. us. <laughs> um, well, all right. Well, we've uh, passed the 8 o'clock hour here on the West Coast. And uh, I think I think that was... That was good. I think we, we yeah. had a, a, a great discussion there. Thank you, everyone, for submitting your questions. And, of course, everyone just tuning in and uh, joining in on the chat and being here live. Uh, again, a shout-out to those that watch on delay. And, uh, as always, a big thank you to all of the podcasters being here tonight. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Even even our extended stay of Black Griffin and Claire Corletti. So that's, that's why it was wonderful. a good uh, podcast. They weren't here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, that said, we hope that you learned a lot about kisturbation and baby bitch burgers. And <laughs> <laughs> what you else of those sentence. terms are being copyrighted as we speak? <laughs> I just want you to know that that sentence, that in the words that you just said in that order, has never been created in, in ever. I just Ooh. want you to know that. Damn. Dang. There's no way that that sentence has ever been created. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. Thank you all for watching the Semi Perfect Podcast. We will be back in two weeks, um, which will be Sarah's pulling up the calendar. Uh, May 6th, just after Cinco de Mayo, we will be back here. Uh, it looks like we got one last super chat. Julian Smith says, hashtag floraging. Floor gang. 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 Um, uh, one more time, just a reminder that uh, we will have a stream on Ready Player Dumb on Friday. That's going to be <laughs> un Untitled Goose Game, right? Yes. Okay. Untitled <laughs> Goose Game um, as presented by our patrons. So uh, join us for that. Uh, and then on Saturday, we will be doing uh, Jackbox again for Pony Fest 2.0. Uh, so to wrap things up, Sarah, we got to thank our super chatters. Yep. We've got Loyal, Jax Blade, Simon, uh, Jax Blade, many, many other times. <laughs> Sea Duck, Nora Mermaid, Fireteam Harmony, Julian Smith, and Britt Fields. And Sweet. Yes. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. You all have a good night. And thank you again for joining us on the Semi Perfect Podcast. Good night, everybody. Goodbye. Later. Bye. Say, Say burn my friend. Say, Say <laughs> I almost forgot. <laughs> 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 Sarah's go pony. <laughs> <laughs>